There are so many news stories to talk about, but so little time. So let's talk about one story the mainstream media is trying to bury and pretend like it doesn't exist. Anthony Fauci and his funding of animal experiments on dogs. Here's some footage from the experiments to jog your memory. It's disgusting, folks. I'm sorry to have to show you it. But thanks to the White Coat Waste Project, we know that the NIAID, the agency that Anthony Fauci runs, gave almost a half a million taxpayer dollars to help fund the project. More than 40 perfectly healthy beagles were intentionally infected with parasites, then allowed to develop diseases before being killed so their blood could be examined. Also disgusting. And get this, the dog's vocal cords were cut, debarked, so the barking would not interfere with the people doing the study. Think about that for a second. Imagine your pet or someone you love screaming in pain, and instead of not hurting them anymore, they just ignored the screams for help and debarked the dogs. On top of all that, the FDA said the experiments were pointless. No wonder Fauci's former boss, Francis Collins, retired a day before this report came out. Now the NIH denies these reports completely. Fauci hasn't commented, I wouldn't blame him. If someone was accusing me of animal murder, I wouldn't be so quick to open my mouth if I had something to hide. And remember, folks, money is fungible. So understand that Fauci didn't need to give instructions on how to spend our taxpayer dollars to those people. For all we know, the group Fauci gave the money to just use the, the grant to pay themselves back after spending their own money on the experiments. But no, that money went from taxpayer to the NIAID to that group, debarking beagles. But that's all the mainstream media needed to blindly defend their fearless leader instead of taking Fauci to task for his abusive dogs. The Washington Post tried to discredit the entire report over what they call a, quote, misleading image. Imagine, pages and pages worth of damning information, but because they use one bad picture, they're throwing out the whole thing. How convenient of them. And you want to know what the liberals at the Jeff Bezos Times actually wrote about in their article about Fauci's dead dogs? Quote, he's been turning into this supervillain, a caricature of the mad scientist cooking up experiments to torture puppies, and it's kind of mind-bending. No, it's not. It's what it is. They talked about how Fauci was getting bullied by angry people. Ooh, too bad, poor Fauci. You don't like being characterized as a mad scientist? Then why did you lie about funding gain-of-function research at the virology lab in Wuhan in the first place? Why did you spend so much money senselessly killing animals also? You still haven't given us your blessing yet on if we can take our masks off at Christmas. I wouldn't hold my breath, though, folks. Well, here's some insight into the psyche of a liberal. They refuse to admit when they're wrong. They'll fight until the dying day protecting their ideology despite them ruining America. Just think about it. How many stores have been looted? How many more people are getting killed in the streets? We'll talk about the spike in crime later in the show. But liberals think that our concerns are dumb. They think we're just making this stuff up. They say we only hate Fauci because we need someone to get mad at. Excuse me, liberals. We have Joe and Kamala for that. Dr. Tony Fauci, on the other hand, has dead dogs to answer to. I don't know about you folks, but I think that's something we should all be concerned about. And it's pretty sad that liberals would rather protect their own, accuse everyone of racism or being COVID deniers or whatever they pretend to care about. They'd rather do that than work alongside people they might disagree with and help fix America. It's really sad. Oh, and Anthony Fauci, Dr. Fauci, remember, all dogs go to heaven and they're watching you. The White Coat Waste Project exposed some gruesome animal experiments happening through Anthony Fauci's Institute, National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease. Layton Woodhouse did some investigative reporting into the story, and now, no surprise there, the corporate media is trying to paint it as misinformation. Layton, thank you for joining us. Tell us about what you found, my friend. Well, what started as a story about 40 years of animal abuse and horrific experimentation, or I should say pointless experiments on animals um, by NIAID, the agency of the NIH run by Anthony Fauci, has turned into really a story about media disinformation um, because what happened was I've been reporting on this for a little while. Um, there were, among thousands of experiments on animals that the NIAID has funded over decades, um, white coat waste exposed a handful of them, one of which uh, NIAID denies having funded. Now, there are many, many reasons to, uh, to be skeptical of that claim, starting with the fact that the journal in which the research was published 
is the journal in which the correction was published that said Nyad hadn't actually funded this. Um, the editor in chief of that journal is an employee of Anthony Fauci, and she's also a dog experimenter. In fact, these people who um, who, who who did the, the experiment in question are her colleagues. She's co-published with a principal investigator on that project. So we, I very much question Nyad's denial. But even if you were to grant that the that Nyad had not funded that project. They funded. They do not deny funding numerous other projects that have been numerous other experiments in, on animals that have been exposed. Um, some of which are worse than the one we see. We've seen the pictures of. So, so Layton, so just I, I need to tie it up in a nice bow, and just get about twenty seconds on the backside of this. So, NIAID funds animal research, a series of them. Uh, white, white, white coast, white. Coat Waste Project exposes it on some of these beagles or several others. One of these experiments that are funded isn't funded by NIAID, and the Washington Post provides cover for Fauci saying, well, this one's not true, so they're all not true. About right? That, that's all right, except for the point that NIAID did not fund that, that, uh, that research. Um, NIAID was credited with funding the research in that experiment when it was first published in this jur the journal that I described. Um, later on, after it was exposed, after it became a political embarrassment, mm -hmm. um, the author said, oh, whoops, that was an accident. We didn't mean to credit NIAID and issued this correction. Now, NIAID has funded those exact same researchers to do essentially the same research, and they don't deny that. Um, other, When I say the same research, research they've done other um, uh, experiments on dogs in which they've infected them with the same disease, leishmaniasis, from sand flies. Wow. So, um, so I, I think it's very. Un I think I believe that Nyad was embarrassed, issued this correction, which I, I don't buy it for a second. Good. We're going to leave it there, and we'll bring it back. And I think you and, and, and Glenn Greenwell have done some amazing research on this as well. Leighton Woodhouse, thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right, coming up, Senator Roger Marshall, who is also a physician on the Omicron variant. There are reports it's not that severe. So when can we take off these masks and do we really have to get vaccinated here in New York City? Next in the balance.